This is the instruction on how to make this little mirror I showed you earlier. And it is it is a fairly reflective mirror. Let me see. Okay, here we are. You can see that's a pretty good mirror, really. Okay. So, our little mirror. Notice it has a shoulder, and that's just to keep it stopped when it slips into the tube. It's merely a piece of drill rod. This is uh, way too big, but it's what I had on hand. Okay, so we're going to turn it down first of all. Uh, what is that? Half inch divided by 300. I guess 600 carbide tools. Oh, high speed steel tools. So, yeah, 600 RPM. And the closest I have here is 755. So, that's what we'll go with. Oops. Have to put it in high range. Okay. So, here we are. 755 RPM. I come in and I touch the side of the part just till I touch and back off. And we'll call that X. And right now that's 305. We want to get that down to 218 thousandths. Did I say that was 305? Yeah. X.305. Okay, now let's. Uh, Make our way down to 218. Why 218? Well, although the outside of the bullet is 223 or 224 or 22 barrels, the inside on the groove with the, like the minor diameter basically is 219 and we want to have at least a thousand clearance. Cut her down a ways. We should be at 273.6 right now. Let's see. We're not going to do anything that accurately. 273. Okay, good. Seven oh 
things and that's nice that's a good blessing there to have okay we need a battery huh right, let's try again 243 okay so, Sixteen, and that'll be fine. That's what we want. That's one nice thing about this Geo 709. It's extremely good at getting repeatable. Okay, I'm going to break the edge on the corner. And while I'm at it, I'm going to break this other edge at the shoulder. Okay. Now I'm going to flip this baby around. and finish the big end holding on to the small end and this end needs to be the same size as the 730 seconds K and N tubing which is 216 oh that was the outside okay gosh I screwed that up okay that's fine now let's turn the smaller inner diameter which will be I doubt that it's 79 millimeters gosh these were these were really good Harbor Freight calipers when I started how about 191 on the inside
take your attention to the nice, high quality finish I'm getting from this high speed cutter. Most of you will want to be using carbide. But I can tell you, you'll be miles ahead to learn to use high speed steel real well. Got to get all of these nasty filings off of there, all that swarf off of there. And now we're going to go for the finish cut, I think. Which, man, these are terrible calipers. I think they're just broken, really. Maybe they just need a battery. We're going to go to 184 right now. Want to break the edge, even though I'm going to grind that area off anyway. Let's see what we have now. Dang! Woohoo! My goodness! Apparently, it didn't like being cut like that. Let's put dump that in some water real quick. Whew! Man, that was hot. Okay, so here's what we have to this point. We have a little straight piece, come on focus, with two diameters, 216 and 184. And we don't care about the lengths at this point. Now we need to grind that off at 45 degree angle in the surface grinder. And that's going to be another setup. So, here we go. I've got to break down now and move all my cameras over there and uh, set up for that next shot. Be right back.